Cognition Labs, a startup has come out of stealth and they have introduced something called as Devin, which they are claiming to be the first AI software engineer. This has been the rage over Twitter yesterday, over LinkedIn, everywhere I am seeing a news about Devin. Now they have some huge claims over here. They are saying it is the world's first fully autonomous AI software engineer. They are saying that it can do a lot of things. It can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies. It can build and deploy apps end to end. It can autonomously find and fix bugs in code bases. It can train and fine tune its own AI models. It can address bugs and features requests in open source repositories. It can contribute to mature production repositories. It can even, uh, you know, do real jobs on Upwork. They say that it has passed AI interviews at top companies and so on. The only thing which uh, these are all nice fancy demos over here, which you can check out. Okay. Uh, it is just these demos which are currently available and what they are saying is that when they evaluated this on a particular software benchmark, a challenging benchmark that asks agents, SW bench, that asks agent to resolve real world GitHub issues found in open source projects like um, Django and Skykit Learn, this Devin correctly resolves 13.86 percentage of the issues end to end, far exceeding the previous state of art 1.96 percentage. Even when given the exact files to edit, the best previous models can only resolve 4.8 percent of issues. This is very key. Okay, the previous state of art is 1.96. This is 13.86 percentage of the issues end to end. Okay. So this number itself is not something which is mind blowing or something, right? It's not that it is 100% or it is 80% or it is 90% or even 50%. It is just 13.86 percentage. This is a challenging benchmark for sure, but still. Now with this being the news, a uh, lot of people are saying that, yeah, this will replace software engineers. Software engineering jobs are gone forever, right? Uh, you know, uh, I should just stop learning software and I should start setting up my food stall. I should start trucking. I should do something else, right? This is just pure hype, if you ask me. Yes, there are some capabilities of this particular software, okay? Um, this uh, particular autonomous agent. But then software engineering is not just writing some code, right? Software engineering is much more to it. Think of a data science problem, right? How much is coding when you are trying to solve a data science problem? It is more about understanding the domain, understanding the business, right? There are a lot more things than just writing software and soft writing software is your final step. Some people say that in software engineering, 80% of the job is not coding. Only 20% of the job is coding. And if you look at it from that perspective, only 13.86% of that 20% is what is being you know, achieved over here, right? So this could be a nice agent which can assist you in doing some things, right? Already you have chat GPT. If, uh, you know, if you look at from a perspective, even chat GPT has interpreter, it has everything. You try to code with it, you are still not able to, you know, replicate a full software. Software is not just, you know, writing code. It's about fixing bugs. It's about maintenance. It's about extending the software based on needs, right? How uh, changes happen in the future. All those things are not going to be replaced by AI. This may be a good first step. Maybe low hanging efforts in the future will be automated. You know, AI will take care of it. Maybe the work which you are doing in five hours can be done in an hour or half an hour now. But then I don't think we are yet to replace an AI, uh, you know, a human software engineer with AI. Maybe the jobs will get reduced if you know uh, low hanging jobs may get reduced right so in the words of andrej uh, karpati over here uh, you know uh, he talks about uh, what it takes to automate software engineering he says it looks similar to automatic driving okay so in self driving the progression of increasing autonomy and higher abstraction looks something like this first the human performs all driving actions manually AI helps to keep the lane, 
then it slows for the car ahead then it also does lane changes and takes forks then it also stops at signs lights and takes turns eventually you take a feature complete solution and grind on the quality until you achieve full self driving and it is still not been achieved right so if you look at the similar progression of ai doing more and human doing less in software engineering it is something like first human writes the code github copilot auto completes a few lines chat gpt writes chunks of code then you move to larger and larger code uh, differences like uh, differentiators like cursor copilot okay things like that so devin is an impressive of demo of what perhaps follows next coordinating a number of tools that a developer needs to string together to write a code a terminal a browser a code editor etc and human oversight that moves to increasingly higher level of abstraction so there is a lot of work not just on the ai part but also on the ui ux part so how does a human provide oversight what are they looking at how do they nudge the ai down a different path how do they debug what went wrong it is very unlikely that we'll have to change up the code editor substantially in any case software engineering is on track to change substantially but it will take a lot more like supervising the automation while pitching in high level commands idea sort progression strategies in english okay so this is a very um, you know nuanced take on this particular um, demo it is what it is okay so currently uh, from my perspective the demo looks impressive but put it in the uh, outward world put it in the wild and see how much it can perform okay that is the true test so currently it's about getting more funding right uh, it is a wonderful demo i'll just think of it as a wonderful demo but i'll also keep in mind that software engineering is bound to change in the future ai definitely has a huge impact but the human is never going to be out of loop that is what i believe it is okay so this was a short video about devin okay, the latest what do you call first autonomous ai software engineer as claimed by cognition labs with um, you know capabilities like it has access to its own editor its own uh, you know tools and it can solve software problems so i would uh, want you to check out this website look at these demos okay and don't get overawed with the demos think of it as just demos for marketing i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video